Canada Chess Bras Victory. Magnus joins us for an interview. We appreciate it. Magnus, how does it feel to go 4-0 yet again? It was good to to help the team in, in this way. Um, but I got to say that um, the whole team today did a really good job. Except except Eric, he sucked, uh, and he almost cost the match, cost us the match. So shame on you, Eric. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, Ivan is. Um, I think he was a uh, very very strong performer the the last time uh, he played for uh, the Chess Bros in the Pro Chess League, and uh, Melee got us an extremely important win today as well. So that was really. Really good to see them do well. Um, as for me, I think I played uh, like pretty mediocre chess, but uh, that's fine. Uh, I got I got it done, uh, especially in the in the last round. I think I was just busted, but uh, um, some positions where you sort of well. I think at some point he made it a bit difficult for himself in that he either has to give mate or he's just worse. Uh, and in, in those positions, even if your position is good, you can easily make uh, mistakes. Hmm. Magnus, you mentioned about Eric's performance there. Now, he was your host while you were in Canada. Aren't you supposed to be nice to him? <laughs> well, I am I would be nice to him if he did well, but this was... <laughs> uh this is uh no but um we had some uh we had some discussions uh after after our last couple of matches uh and uh we thought that getting Ivan in would be really really uh important and then uh so I, I have to say he he made a really good good choice there mm -hmm. also considering the fact that he brought in Meili who got us an important uh important point um unfortunately that meant that uh, he had to play himself instead of instead of Aryan, but that's the way it is sometimes um but yeah i'm, I'm happy that we uh, that we won today and uh, we stay mm -hmm. we stay alive you do indeed magnus the, the french is the butt of a lot of jokes but you played it in the last round to defeat same seven would you say that if you're ranking the ways to guarantee winning chances and an unbalanced position with black against e4, would you say that the French is among the top ways to guarantee some sort of intrigue against e4? I would say against really well-prepared opponents, um, it's, um, it's generally hard to generate chances, but you are right in the sense that, especially if you're not pre well prepared as black, as I clearly wasn't today, uh, then your position from the opening is probably going to be pretty bad. But it's going to be a comp, as you said, it's going to be a complicated sense, uh, you know, complicated kind of bad where you can get counter chances. And as uh, as I explained earlier, yeah, um, this at some point, yeah, you had to. You had to either get give mate or or lose, and that was kind of the scenario I was hoping for. It's a little bit like playing the King's Indian in mm. in that sense, or at least some of the sort of more double edged variations of the King's Indian, where you know that either as black you're either um, getting uh, you're even giving mate or or you're gonna lose. And the French is. Mm. I mean, you're not giving mate, of course, but you take such strategic risk in, in both openings, but you know that there, there are chances as well. I have some interesting opening choices there now. The chess bras won by the smallest of margins, eight and a half to seven and a half, but it wasn't smooth sailing. After round two, uh, you were down, your team was down five to three. What do you think switched and what turned around to take this match victory? Well, I think this is the good thing about the format that um you you have this rating constraints which means that almost every game is uh sort of every match is going to be be close like winning by blowouts is super super hard um i think uh i mean the the key one of the keys was 
I don't know. I, I don't know what the key was really. <laughs> I mean, we got one one win from melee, which was really mm. was really huge, and then Ivan started to win games. But what exactly happened? You know why that happened in in the first uh, in in the third round rather than the first two. It's hard to say. Mm. Mm-hmm. Magnus, as we look at the top teams in the standings, of course, the Indian Yogis they won again today. Uh, to be the first team making it to the playoffs. We've got the Gotham Knights and the Shanghai Tigers. Looking at those teams, Magnus, how do you feel about the Chespera's chances to make it into the playoffs? And what are the sort of big things that need to happen? Is it Eric playing better? Is that the sort of the key to the kingdom? Yeah, I guess it's getting like good performances from from everybody. On on this, if we if we do that, we can beat every single every single team um and uh I'll, I'll be curious to see who we play in the in in the in the next round but for instance like i obviously i may have on a good day been able to see made in three against with in the last in the last match but even then we'd have lost lost the match so we we really need everybody to um to pull and that's that's hard on every any any given match, but at least now we've s- scraped a couple of wins, so we we have a chance. Hmm. Max, can you also just tell us a little bit about what's it like to play for the Chess Bros, and how involved are you in the decision making for the lineup of uh, of every week? Is that something that you leave to Eric, or is that something that you're actively uh, involved in? Uh well I I've, I've been discussing it a little bit with Eric but it's it's his choice as he makes the decisions. Um he's the the manager, the boss, the godfather. So uh I mainly just tune in once a week and try to play good enough moves to win a few games. Mm-hmm. Magnus uh Feature chat question from Dizzy Bagel ninety four. How does the PCL compare to a normal tournament? Is this a sort of a fun tournament for, or are you viewing this just like any other aim chess or any other online rapid tournament that you've played? No, it's not fun. Well, it can be fun sometimes when your <laughs> when your teammates are doing well, but mostly it's a little bit frustrating. <laughs> Especially after last week, I was thinking like I'm never ever gonna play a match again. Uh, Here you are, but uh, no, it's it's yeah, it's obviously it's obviously different because you cannot control your fate in the same way. Hmm. Right, we've got one more feature chat question for you, and it's by Dan plays chess, and he's asking Magnus, is there anyone you played? that surprised you with their play? Maybe somebody previously was not on your radar. I can't say that I've been following the other matches too um, intently. In terms of how people have played against me, uh, nah, not really. Uh, I mean, some people have played really well some others haven't but um no i cannot say i cannot say that i that i have well eric surprise has surprised me in negatively so far but <laughs> <laughs> well magnus it's been a pleasure watching your games you've gone 4-0 now twice uh, so congratulations on a well-earned victory for the chess bros we'll let you take your well-deserved mm. less rest. We look forward to seeing you the next match. Thank you. Always a pleasure.